everybody it's me andrew get out into nature and tune in for yourself resonate with the earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz the universal frequency balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally our befores in our nature further balance out your physical body's ph level and get with alkalinity then you can generate some static electricity send me some love telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great days so uh today i'm going to talk on remaining joyful when uh life brings you into difficult experience or difficult situations okay so let's get right into this um so so life it brings everybody into difficult situations right this is inevitable that you are going to go through something difficult in your life and uh life is going to pretty much uh beat you down whatever you want to say about it um and it can get hard sometimes, you know, and you can go about blaming and you can do all these different things out of um, your reaction to the difficult situation, right? Um, and within that reaction to the difficult situations, you can be brought into a lower state of uh, a lower state of yourself you know, which is going to equal a uh, lower vibration. And what I'm trying to say about this is that you can change the way that you are, um, the way that, that you can change the reaction to a response of the difficult situation, right? So you got to have awareness that um, difficult situations happen throughout life, you know, so all you got to do is be uh, more of an more of an observer or you got to be more conscious that um, that life consists of difficult situation right so the more that you observe it with that realization the more that you can understand that uh you don't need to react to anything more so you can uh, become more responsible or responsible or you can respond more often rather than allowing anything to cause a reaction within you within you because a reaction is just uh, an action um, reoccurring you know a reaction you're like recycling in a specific action you know which action is karma doing is karma you know, so when you're reacting, you're just getting entangled within that cycle of karma that you have uh, been given, you know. So uh, when you change the reaction to response, it allows you to dissolve away the karma and allows you to disbond from uh, any karmic grooves over your lifetime, over, over more lifetimes, the deeper you go into it. So uh, then... Once you begin responding to things, you start to dissolve away the karma and it becomes more so a um, evolution, you know, and you're actually progressing more than just recycling in uh, reality tunnels and, and like supporting your ignorance and enslavement, you're more so uh, able to to come into a novelty or, or at least be aware of it, you know, uh, of the progression that's taking place rather than uh, being caught in that recycle or the karma. It's more uh, dharma, you know, which, which is what response brings, allows you to get more in flow with it and to understand it more fluently. So, uh, so changing reaction to response, once again, it comes with observing. So the more you begin to observe yourself, um, and this can be your life, this can be actually looking within yourself, 
of just observing more often, you know, and being more conscious, being more aware, you're going to uh, be able to change that reaction to a response. And uh, you begin responding to, to difficult situations that, taking, that take place in your life, right? Um, and and uh, when you begin to respond to it, you understand them more easier. You understand the patterns. You understand uh, more of the experience in a clarity. And it allows then for... Uh, you to to uh progress right so you don't have to get caught in any uh karma or reaction because when you're constantly reacting to things it doesn't allow you to um it doesn't allow you to be uh it doesn't allow you to understand or to know that thing or to know the experience and it doesn't allow you to really come into a wisdom until it's broken you know that cycle or it comes into a progression, or it takes a leap. So, um, don't allow things to get you down, because when you allow difficult situations in life to, to, to bring your vibration down, or to get you down, um, you're reacting to them, you're staying reactive, you know, and you're getting caught in your karma, and you're, you're staying, in, you're looping, so what you want to do is you want to just watch, be more observative and try not to react to reactions, right? Because then you get caught in a deeper echo of karma and this is entangling in itself until you're finally able to break free, uh, free from it. Until you're finally able to break free from that cycle, uh, which is going to come with observation not acting at all you know but being more so or responding to it right which which in order to respond to it you need to distance yourself and you need to allow for resonation to take place and then you need to uh, then respond to what is and then navigate from there you know uh, but once you begin observing more, once you begin responding to more things in life, rather than reacting, bliss is natural or, or joy is natural because uh, response is conscious and reaction is compulsive and compulsion uh, can lead to suffering and it can lead to misery and response and also... Uh, being more aware, which is response, is more bliss or is more blissful because you're more aware, you know, and once you get to a certain point of realization, you're liberated and liberation uh, is some synonymous with enlightenment, right? You Once you awaken, once you come to really realize, uh, then you know that, that the roots of or the sources of fear are uh, um, very illusory, you know, because uh, this is what consciousness invites or it allows us to realize or allows us to resonate with the truth because consciousness is truth uh, and compulsiveness is just uh, reactive, you know, and it's also uh, unconsciousness and it's more so... Um, living in uh, illusion when that can be uh, dissolved away right as you start to go higher in the chakra but um that's pretty much gonna be for today's video so i do thank everybody for watching once again peace out have a great day and one love